boom, 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 boom. You know what it is, man. It's boy OG product. Bring enough edition that Garrison News. You know the Schlingo trap now. Cut later. I forgot my own nigga Shmuel as we should. Oh, man. God damn. Things makes it go. Hmm. Talk nice, mama. Anyway, man. We out here fooling that for Don't mind. Pretty sash. Mind. Blip. Bow. Boom, 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 boom. People trust. Up. No homo, no freaky. Up. No homo, no sneaky. So, people. First of all, before we start the chatting, right? Just remind you. We don't do gossip like Wendy Williams. You heard me, gangster? We don't do tabloids like Tasha K. And we damn sure don't do T. Or story time, man, like Tia and Keisha with the T, right? So notice, I want to say shout out to my buzzing, Wack 100. Wherever you at in the United States, America, abroad, overseas, Cali bound, I boom with you. What's understood? Don't got to be explained. What's understood? We don't got to chat too much. So, people, if you haven't been in tune, y'all know Diddy right now has been apprehended by the federalists right diddy is now behind the g war right so a lot of people never pre-game like diddy knew he was going in right that's why you see diddy who never mingle with chocolate face people you know always around vanilla face people for the last two months he's running around people are shocked astonished appalled they couldn't believe that was diddy they seen in the constituency because you'll normally see diddy in like hawaii you know, um, Dubai, you know, Central Pay. This way you find Diddy. Recently you find Diddy in Harlem, you know, on um, Washington Square Park. You would never see Diddy in Washington Square Park. So Diddy knew he was going in. No freaky, no homo. So homeboy tried to um, enjoy his last days. You understand? But here's the thing, you know, I, I did this vlog about now. If y'all know this, Diddy, young youth, King Combs, you're a soul by it. So King Combs been hanging out with a lot of bloods, right? You know, the Mac Ballers and stuff like that. And also his elder, um, his um, old head, Diddy. Diddy's been hanging around, like, you know, the Mac Ballers. If you go on YouTube, you'll see Diddy, you know, hanging out with a um, blood member from the Mac Ballers called Kima Blood, right? Which, you know, is in tied with his um, son, um, King Combs. The reason why Diddy did that, man, because like I said, Diddy don't hang out with people like this on a regular unless, you know, he know them from the beginning of his rap career. Diddy try to stay away from the gang members, right? But knowing that he's going in, he try to be around like, you know, the bloods to make ball is. So when he go to the institution, they'll accept him as, you know, um, a blood member so he could be protected. Even if he go to PC, which he's going to be in um, protective custody because he's a, um, a big, you know, um, industry man, right? He's not going to go to general population. And trust me. He'll, trust me, it'll be a whole protest if they put him in general population. So he tried to, um, you know, schmingle with Mac Ballers for protection. You understand? Because I don't care if Diddy goes in PC. See, what well, a lot of people don't understand with PC, right? People think because you go to PC, nothing can happen to you in PC. No, it's still gang members. Oh, shit. Move your ass to a by the skunk to a trade. Bumba clot. Why am I just like a bumba clot punk? Sure, I know a star. Man, them can't drive, you know. Zimmy, yeah, man. So, even if you go to general population, half of the people in general population was retired gang members that choose to give up the gang lifestyle and they in PC. So, that don't mean that they soft. They'll still bust your noggin open. They'll still crack your medulla like an egg, man. You understand? So, by him going under the umbrella, you understand? In which he's still going to have to run some straight cash run some chicken to the big homies, you know, because once they put out the word, okay, Diddy is Gucci, he's situated, Diddy is going to be all right, just like John Gotti. When John Gotti was in the institution, John Gotti is a mobster. But even John Gotti had to pay the Aryan Brotherhoods for protection because they want to eat John Gotti food. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Bumba clot. So, yeah, Diddy, if you look, man, I just don't want to use the homie shit because, you know what I mean? These homies be on a whole different type of shit. On social networks, so like I said, they could be gang members, but they don't move like gang members, man. So like I said, you know, he's been running around with the homie Kima Baller from the Mac Ballers. I think that's the one that chopped um, Dirty Dave open, like a um, tuna fish, man. Slice homeboy open, man, and cut him open, man, like a um, can um, of sardine. So yeah, that's who um, Diddy been running around. So yes, Diddy is now a Mac Baller, and so is his young youth, um, King Combs. You understand? 
And he did, bro, they did that shit for a reason, bro. Because at the end of the day, what industry mon that's worth almost a billion dollars or maybe a billion before, you know, his lawyer's fee, man. You know, and um, he got to run some guts to Weinstein or Rubenstein. He, I, I think he was a billionaire or pretty close to a billionaire. What billionaire and his son want to be tied to gangs, bro? Because they know it's not looking too good for them and they making preparation. Yo, dogs, I want a bumble clock while I'm just eating at you. So we're making preparation, man. Damn, surely bought. Poor sick lord. Yeah, look where we at. Oh, hold up. Can I turn it from here? I can't turn it from here. Hold up. What the fuck's going on? I was going to show you where we at right now. You heard me, gangster? We ain't got hatting. But it's not um, a money move, man. You heard me? Can I turn it? Let me see. No. I don't know why. You're not going to let me turn it. But like I said, man, the diddler, man, you know, that's crazy, bro. You worth so much money. And you doing all this type of antics, blood. Like, the more gus you make, is the more you're supposed to try to, you know, walk a straight line. But it seems like, you know, he was right about that tune. I don't know what they want from me. The more straight cash we get. Is the more problems we see. He ain't never lied. Because the more straight cash you get, is the more, you know, the clout got to Diddy head. Like, Diddy reminded me, I mean, excuse me, beloved. Let me roll up the window. It should mad loud. Yeah. Diddy remind me of Sean Penn. You know, Sean Penn from Carlito's Way. Y'all seen the movie? Diddy is like Sean Penn. Sean Penn was a good lawyer, an uh, 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 A list lawyer. That, you know, went from a lawyer, started hanging around some gangsters, and now he went from a lawyer to a driller. He went from a lawyer to a block bender and started catching bodies. Remember he dumped Homeway Body in the um, ocean? And even Al Capone, I mean, was it Al Capone? What was Homeway name? That wasn't Al Capone. Um, what's the homie name? Al Pacino. He couldn't believe that, um, you know, um, Sean Penn was on Demon Time, so a lot of people is astonished. They appalled because, like I said, what's done in the dark always going to come to light. What booms around comes back around again. So a lot of people, we just thought, you know, we clowning Diddy for years, man. You know, Diddy is just a dancer. Diddy is a schmook. Diddy is a fun boy. Diddy is an ansimon. Diddy is a chichimon. Diddy is a bullamon. Diddy, you understand, is a sweet boy. Diddy is a schmoo. Diddy is, you know, a Batsy boy. Diddy is a Batsy man. Diddy is a real life active undercover brother. The whole time, you know, um, this was the real Suge Knight, man. You heard me? Yeah, man. This was the real Suge Knight, Diddy. But like I said, unfortunately for Diddy, man, his fate is sealed. You know, before I end this live, I'm going to show you where I'm, where I'm at right now. I'm trying to get on the FDR. Traffic's not that bad right now. You heard me? This came from Brooklyn. But I um, had to come through get high real quick. Then, you know what I mean? Yo, what the fuck? Why this Ross so fucking... Yo, move your Ross so bite. Yeah, so everybody thought Diddy was just like soft like ice cream, man. But now y'all seen a real Diddy. That's why I said, looks is deceiving. Never judge a book by its cover until you open that book and pre the pages. That's why when I see certain people on the street, I just don't pick on innocent people. Because let me tell y'all something, bro. All the gang members, right, that y'all look up to and think they the one that's real official, they not. Because when the Dunkin' Donut cops run down on them, the first thing they do is drop their toolie, take off like an airplane. Take off like a New York City bike. Take off like um Flash Gordon. I be seeing footage on, you know, the internet. The people that's letting off their glizzy at the Dunkin' Donut cop, they regular civilian that have more heart. Not saying it's cool, you know, to let off your toolie at a Dunkin' Donut cop or a Dunkin' Donut girl, but they have more heart than a gang member. Just look on YouTube. When you see your street dudes, oh, Dunkin' Donut cop, boom, take off like a goddamn rocket launcher. Throw their toolie. You understand? But every time you see somebody letting off their toolie at a Dunkin' Donut cop, it's regular, you know, um, civilians, man. So it shows you civilians have heart than a regular gang member. A regular gang member just gonna talk shit. They only got heart for the um, chocolate face people. At the end of the day, when it comes down to real people that, you know, that's against, you know, their situation, 
They're going to take off like helicopter, man. Take off like Speedy Gonzalez. Yeba! Andale! You understand? But like I said, people, um, it's a wrap for Diddy, man. It's a wrap for the diddler, at least. You know, go back and watch. If y'all haven't been in tune, go to YouTube. You're going to see um, Diddy's son is now a Mac Baller, and so is his old head. Why they did it? For protection, man, because they know they're going to the institution. Because there ain't going to be no grown man beside Birdman. That became a blood, you know, in his 40s. But people, like I said, I'm doing road right now. Hold on, let me keep you on live for a second until I get on the FDR. I'm gonna end live when I get on the FDR. I'm like three minutes away from the FDR. Traffic heavy, boss, no freaky. But yeah, man, big homie, man. You hear me? You're big jit, man. You hear me? It's only one, man. You heard me? Oh, yeah, so shout out to my buds in WAC 100. Wherever you at in the United States of America, abroad, overseas, brother. Even, you know, if you're in West Coast at Haddam 22, no jumper, headquarters. No more. If you be at Haddam 22 headquarters, no freaky headquarters, no homo. Wherever you at, beloved, ain't nothing but love. You heard me on oh, my soul. Boom safe. Bow.